Good morning. It's 9.22 a.m. We are getting ready for our trip to San Fran. Little Prince just got walked and fed. And now I'm about to start packing and then um, making some breakfast for us. We have to leave in approximately an hour and a half. So I'm going to grab our suitcases and let the packing games begin. So we're almost done packing. This is all of our shoes in here. Putting in some tennis balls for Prince to play with. Um, we got our entourage ready so that we can have some entertainment. Here's the packing continuing. I packed all my clothes. Probably overpacked. This is all my casual stuff and this is all workout and dresses and stuff. And Sergio's packing all his dress shirts, his dress pants, and figuring out what cute outfits he's going to be needing for the trip. <laughs> and Prince is ready to go too. We are on our way to the airport. Ready for our San Fran trip. Prince is ready. Just made it to the park and ride lot and we are in park and ride E16. I wrote it in my phone so we won't forget but now we have it documented in video. Prince is ready. We've got one big suitcase, one carry-on, my super cute Kate Spade inspired purse from Target. Sergio's got his book bag and we are ready to rock and roll on our way to San Fran. Whoop whoop! We have pre-boarded our flight. Prince is ready. Are you ready to go to San Fran? Princey? You boy. We're going to be making a stop in Chicago first and then San Fran. Thankfully, we get to pre-board since we've got our emotional support animal with us. But we're ready. See you guys in Chicago. We're going to try to get some popcorn like they did in Modern Family if you have seen that episode. <laughs> <laughs> Too late Welcome <laughs> to San Francisco. Just landed in San Fran. Some of the pretty sculptures. We just arrived to Hotel Bijou. We are um, checking in right now. This is the hotel's lobby. There's Sergio checking in. Some of the Cool purple furniture they've got going on here. I think the movie theater is right over here. They're showing X Men and Doctor Doolittle too. Let's take a quick peek at the Le Petit Theater Bijou. Here's a cute little theater. Take a look outside. A bit of Sam Fran for you. We got a big nice Union Square sports bar right next to our hotel. And I need to show you this funny thing that the hotel offers. This should be an indication of what our stay is going to be like. Hey, it's the city. This might help. Bijou. And guess what's in here? Earplugs. Isn't that funny? They're showing these movies. This hotel is um, based on movies that were filmed in California. And each hotel room is named one of the movie's names. So let's go to our room. Elevator selfie! Yay! So that was a long flight, huh, babe? We had our flight from North Carolina, RDU, to uh, Chicago O'Hare, and then from Chicago O'Hare to San Fran. And that Chicago to San Fran was like four or five hours. Ten it was hours. long. Prince? We have to 
enjoyed this. Awesome. Come on, buddy. So, what room are we staying 401 in? Next to the, the chat room. 401. After the Thin Man. My After the movie. Thin Man. No idea what that movie is. Thankfully, it's no smoking. Room 401. Wow, it looks just like Spring Magic. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's pretty dark in here. Let's find the the light okay there's one light come here friends let's take your leash off okay we've got a nice flat screen tv it's cozy it's not too bad though i mean it's small but it's decent it's yeah, clean a dead guy in the closet, dead guy in the closet. Not Sergio, you ain't scaring me, Bubba. I really like the TV and this dresser drawer. They got a little pipe for us. Just kidding, I have no idea what this is, babe. What is this? I know. Let's see, after the thin man. So, I guess this is the movie our room is based off of. What is it saying? While the original story to Thin Man was set in New York after The Thin Man, it's a sex successful sequel takes place throughout the city of San Francisco with the residents of Nick and Nora Charles set at the skirt of Coit Tower. The Thin Man films stern from the work of legendary San Francisco fiction writer Dashu Hammett. Blah, 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 blah. All right, let's take a look at the bathroom. Okay, we've got our sink. Some supplies, our mirror, toilet, and a shower, our towel set. Okay, it's little, but what can we do with Sam Friend? Can't expect more. Alright, see you guys later. Peace. Time to explore the city! Alright, so we are at dinner right now. We just made it to our hotel. We walked over to Walgreens, got some stuff, and now we're eating dinner at this Peruvian restaurant. And we are starving. It's like midnight North Carolina time. It's like almost, what, almost 10 p.m. here. It's like 9.35. We're having a really neat dinner, but we are excited. I right, can't wait to eat some yummy food. Sergio just got his food. He's having some lomo. I mean, no, no. He's having some um, roasted chicken with some truffle mac and cheese and delectable three different types of sauces. You ready to enjoy? And here's my meal. Some delicious lomo saltado. Can't wait to dig in. We are at Embarcadero uh, Mall right now. Trying to figure out where Sergio's friends are at a bar. Let's see some of the places here. Looks like, what is the bar called that we're looking for? Patriot's Place. So Patriot's Place. Oh look, they have a bar method here. But it's really nice. They've got a Godiva. A really nice center. Center little outdoor area. It's like a two-story place, and you can see all the buildings around San Fran. I'm just loving exploring this place. I did not come here last time. Look how pretty those flowers are over there. Very springy. Embarcadero Centers. All right. Up we go. 
beautiful flowers here. They've got such a pretty arrangement. Too bad it's too dark to really show them off, but oh my gosh, how come that building says Isis over there? Oh no, it says 1915. Oh my gosh, my eyes totally played a trick on me. On the camera it looks like 1915, but from my eyes it looked I like said ISIS. I was like, why does that building say ISIS? Oh, God. That's what I seriously we have saw. To leave right now. I was like, oh Lord, what's going on? We have to leave San Francisco. So no. there is Patriot House. Patriot House. Yes, An American gastropub. Are they? It is a Thursday night, so not very much is uh, going on here. It opens at 9 a.m. for March Madness. NCAA basketball shown here. Let's see. Hi, so it's day two in San Fran. Um, this morning, Sergio went to his conference. Um, we woke up here on 8.30 a.m. I walked Prince, went down to the Embarcadero and had an acai bowl that was delicious. I came back, um, oh, I made a quick stop at Target Express that they have here, and I got a whole bunch of goodies in there. Pretty much everything I got, which looks like a mess because I um, opened some of them, were like e.l.f. products that I have never seen in store and have only seen um, um, online. So I took advantage of it and bought them. And now I am going to go meet up with Elizabeth um, so we can potentially go to the San Fran Botanical Gardens. And this is my outfit of the day. So I'm wearing this Old Navy top. Um, it's got little bows on it, um, a little cute bow necklace from Target, my fave, and some Kendra Scott earrings, um, my sunglasses from Charlotte Russe, a little camel colored jacket, my jeans, and my Sam and Libby flats that I love because they're so comfy. And there's Prince, he's pooped from his morning walk. So, um, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Okay, we are currently in the Powell Outbound Station waiting for our bus to get here. Or, I don't know, I guess this isn't a bus. It's more of a, a rail, a train, I don't know. But, um, to go to the San Francisco um, Botanical Gardens. Say hi. <laughs> So I'll show you guys later. We are currently inside the San Francisco Botanical Gardens. It's beautiful, lots of big trees, and the magnolias are in bloom right now. And I think that's some of them over there peeking, peeking there if you guys can see. But yep, San Francisco Botanical Gardens. Right now we are in the Redwood Grove. This is one of the redwood trees. It is so big. Huge. It's very cool here. Here's another one.
I think the the little um, pamphlet said they're like over a century old. Yeah. We are at the secret garden tea room right now. About to have some tea time. <laughs> So cute in here. Right, so I just got back to the hotel room. We went to the botanical gardens. We had an amazing tea time. And then we went to the Daison Japan store, which is like a dollar store, a Japanese dollar store. And these are some of the goodies I got. So we got some rose loofahs that feel really funny out we needed some loofahs to shower with i didn't bring them in i don't really like using washcloths a cute little dog bowl for prints we actually got two and everything is a dollar fifty in this store um this cute little rose clip which is awesome uh a dog brush so i can give some prints some pampering um this poor care pack that is a uh, natural charcoal so we'll test that out and see how that works. And um, some bobby pins just so I can do a nice little bun. And last but not least, <laughs> these are funny. So I bought these Carolina Blue um, uh, flip flops or whatever sandals for Sergio since he forgot to bring some. And I got a pair for me too in bright orange. Um, Orange and blue, go Gators! Um, so we can get out of the shower with since we both did not really bring sandals. Um, it's been a really fun day and um, now I'm gonna go walk Prince. I just fed him and after I walk him then I'm probably gonna start getting ready for um, probably to go out to dinner which I'm not sure where we're gonna go yet. I'll have to check with Sergio. And also to go to this event at the W Hotel. It's like a cocktail reception. Um, and so they totally cleaned our room. I put the do not um, enter sign, but for some reason they still entered and made our bed. Um, they vacuumed the floor, which I don't even know how we already needed our room vacuum, seeing how we were just here for like less than 24 hours. but. Prince is happy to see me um, and so we're not supposed to leave dogs in the room, service animals in the room by themselves, but little Prince stayed by himself because I couldn't take him everywhere with me today and I just hope he did okay while they were in here. I mean, they didn't tell me anything or write any notes, so um, I don't know how I feel about them coming in and cleaning the room even though I had the do not disturb sign outside especially since Prince was in here I mean they did a great job cleaning the room and we actually did need it especially some new fresh towels and I just, the vacuuming the carpet was perfect but um I don't know we'll see hopefully this continues to work out for the next four nights that we're here all right guys see you later it is Saturday morning and we are at this little breakfast shop called Bread and Coco. We are about to have, um, Sergio got some Greek yogurt parfait with granola and berries. He's getting the silver right now. And I got a frittata with um, some fruits and a baguette and this delicious caramel toffee latte that just tastes amazing. Right now, it's like one of the best coffees I've had. It tastes like it has like marshmallow, like on top, like a layer. I don't know, it's really good. And of course, we've got our little emotional support animal with us here. Prince, say hi to the camera. So, we just got to the Moscow Center. As you can see, people are advertising on the sides of buses for Jupiter. Um, that's the Moscow Center South over there and this is the Moscow Center North where the exhibits will be and all the vendors will be promoting their products and giving away some goodies. Excited!
so we have completed the exhibits today at the AAG and this is all of the products we got. Can you say product overload? It was overwhelming to say the least but in the best possible way ever. I'm going to show you all a few samples of the things we got from Neutrogena. They gave tons of full-size products. Um, hairspray, sunblock, Aveeno gave so many things as well. Um, Copper Tone, CeraVe, Simple, um, Elta MD. This is one of the really coveted um, sunblocks because they're so expensive and so great. Um, lactin um, so many we got some Neutrogena makeup too and um, this is one um, other brand I can't of wait to products put this all over my body I'm <laughs> so excited we got Olay some Gillette razors Tide samples deodorant um, a new net, um, neti pot um, La Roche Oh my god, this stuff just keeps going and going. Dove products, more vino. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Vaseline, simple, bio oil, head and shoulders. We even got a wireless mobile phone monopod, aka a selfie stick, for um, going to the mirror dry presentation. Um, lots of baby products this is just like amazing it was like pr free product heaven and look at this Neutrogena Hydro Boost gel cream for extra dry skin more sunblock um, some aquaphor overall I'd say AAD was a huge success I was going to bring a suitcase to put everything in, but decided not to because I thought it would seem too obvious that I was just there for the products, but everyone's there for the products. Next year, I'm bringing a suitcase. I had to have Sergio come rescue me and take like two bags worth of stuff because my shoulders could not take it anymore. I was literally dying from how heavy all these products were. Um, it was such an awesome experience. They really treat all this, these dermatologists amazing. They had coffee stands, cannolis, cookies, lemonades, smoothies for free. And their setup there was like beautiful. They'd have lounges, um, such cool stuff that was incredible. Another bib, I didn't tell you about something cool. So there's this machine that you, they, it takes a picture, huh? Of what? What machine? Yeah, no, but I, there's another one. That, that one was when I had my makeup on. So I took my makeup off and I went to go do it. And so it, it, I put in my age and it like rates my skin. And um, compared to like other people what what age do you think my skin came up as 25 so i'm 27 and the lady was even like wow my skin was rated at an age of a 22 year old so i guess i'm doing something right <laughs> so now we're gonna get ready to go out with some friends for dinner probably and enjoy more of the city. My feet are like dead, exhausted. I need like an awesome foot massage now. Right. We are, what is this place called again? The Non and Curry with Humera <laughs> and Otto. And this is the spread of amazing oh, yeah. food. We got some chicken, some Bijani, biryani, biryani with rice with vegetables, some garlic <laughs> naan, um, palak paneer, right? Palak, palak paneer, and some tiki masala. So good. All right, we're about to throw down. <laughs> The, the 
Gaitan strawberry parfait First here. First of its kind. Ooh, yummy. First of its kind. First of its kind in a waffle cone. That's First right. Time ever. We were complimented that we. Or insulted. We were insulted. <laughs> One of the two. Wait, how do you go? <laughs> it is day three in San Fran. I just arrived to the um, Castro neighborhood. Get this little fun thing up here. This is the historically um, gay rights community that started back um, in a while ago. There's our gay pride flag. Oh, that looks real pretty over there, that view. All the houses up on the hills. There's the Castro Theater. Here's the tour group. I might try to get in on this. Twin Peaks. There's a place here called Twin Peaks that you can go to and it's like that one of the second highest like place in the city to get like an amazing view. So this is um, Market Street and the historic Castro. And as you can tell everything's real hilly up here. Another place I'd like to point out, and I'll point it out again, and we'll talk about it again. So I just heard that hot cookie place over there always is making cookies. Mm, I might have to check that place out. That is the Harvey Milk Plaza where I took the one of the BART trains to get to the Castro station. So we are inside Hot Cookie. This is some of the delicious selection of things they have. I just made it to Twin Peaks. I just got off the bus and now I'm gonna walk up here. So it's a San Francisco Recreation and Parks welcomes you. And there's the bus that brought me here. All right.
just arrived to Alamo Square and Prince is excited to be free and roaming around in the park here. So we're um, going to take a look at the Painted Ladies, probably have a picnic out here and enjoy this beautiful Sunday in San Francisco. Oh, this is them right here. The Painted Ladies. Let me see if I can take a picture. Yeah, you can take a picture while you're, um, let's see, come, come baby, let's try to take a picture. There's lots of people up here. Look at all the people up on the hill. Do you want to go up to the hill, babe? So, we had a little bit of a fail. We were trying to get acai bowls at the basic cafe. And it turns out that they had sold out. So, now we're going to do a plan B and figure out where else we can go eat. I know. I see that. Wow, there's tons of people here. Everyone had an idea. Well, because it's a Sunday and everyone's out and about. Sweet. And it's funny, everyone faces the painted ladies pretty much. You can see the city in the background. So it's not going to be so easy to recreate the <laughs> full house scene now with the <laughs> full crowd here. We'll still try. <laughs> free advice? Advice? I want free advice. <laughs> I know. I saw so I dare you to sit through that. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Do you guys see that over there? Film this. This is vlog worthy. Look, right there is girl. Oh. Over there you can do it up the hill. Friends, come on. That lady is taking it in. <laughs> Prince found a friend. I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. Okay. We have an emergency macaroon, right? Mm hmm. Nice. Are so you digging in right now? Mm hmm. Let's do it. Um, just arrived to the Modernizing Medicine Party. It's a beautiful venue. Really nice. Um, it's sponsored by Modernizing Medicine, and we are checking in right now. stuff for the dermatologist they could win a derm light I think they say valued at like $900 and an Apple iPad let's hope we win one of those Gate Bridge and we are um, gonna get ready to cross the bridge walking with my honey bunny and our little baby and of course me so the view here is really nice we've got the ocean or the bay Alcatraz all the way over there in the background I'm gonna zoom in for a shot of Alcatraz. There's Alcatraz. Wow, this gets great zoom, babe. Look. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna swim there right now. There, wow, there's a little 
ferry leaving Alcatraz must have been a tour earlier today. And um, there's the bridge. And we are going to go over to Sausalito by crossing the bridge. We hear there's lots of great um, places to eat, have lunch, enjoy the afternoon. Together, today's uh, Monday, right? Monday, it's our, our um, conference just finished at 6 p.m. <laughs> It's our last official full day in San Francisco, so we're going to try to get all the sightseeing done as much as we can. All right, let's head over. And so this thing here is like an actual piece of what they used to make the bridge, babe? Is that what you were saying? The leftover? Golden Gate Bridge main spam. Length of cable, 7,650 feet. At all. No, mom says definitely wear a leash. All the bikers are here ready to cross the Golden Gate Bridge and we are going to be one of the walkers crossing the Golden Gate Bridge. downtown Sausalito um, we are gonna have lunch here by the bay and enjoy what this cute little um, town has to offer there's a ferry that takes you back to San Francisco City you guys can see the view here is gorgeous and there's San Francisco in the background everything's up on the hills here that's California lifestyle for y'all 